If you're in sixth grade and you've been paying attention to your weekly outline, you're gonna notice that for this last week, you're, you're being asked to uh, divide words into syllables in your spelling class. Now, of course, this is something that you already know how to do, but it's extremely important to continue to have this information because it helps you to uh, pronounce your words properly in English. And so here's the list that's on your weekly outline. We're gonna go through the pronunciation of each word and we're going to go through the reasons why it's so important for you to pronounce properly to be able to divide words into syllables. Okay, so this is your sixth grade spelling class. This is the list that you've had for the last two or three weeks. And we're gonna go through each word one by one. Let's start. If you can, repeat after me. Abolish. Abolish. Absence. Absence. Accident. Accident. Adequate. Adequate. Admissible. Admissible. Adopt. Adopt. Advantage, advantage, adventure, adventure, adverb, adverb, and the last word, advisor, advisor. Now there are a few sounds that are not natural in Spanish and they might be a little difficult for you, but I can assure you if you keep practicing them over and over again, you will be able to get the correct pronunciation. Notice that the words do not necessarily have the accent in the same syllable as they do in Spanish, because it's kind of easy to figure out what most of these words mean in Spanish. But don't try to read it as if you're reading Spanish. Remember, if your English sounds like your Spanish, then something is wrong. It has to sound completely different. So don't try to read as you do in Spanish where every single syllable, syllable is pronounced, every single letter is pronounced. That's not the case in English, okay? So let's go over it one more time. And this time I'm gonna clap so you can know or, or notice the amount of syllables in each word. So the first word is abolish. Abolish. This word has three syllables. Abolish. The second word is absence. Absence. Now notice there are a whole bunch of letters that you don't take into account in your pronunciation. For example, this last E. You don't pronounce that E. It's silent. Absence. The next word is accident. Accident. Whenever you have two letters, of the two of the same letters in a word, usually you separate the syllables. One goes with one part of the one syllable and the other one goes with the other one. So accident would not be accident, it would be accident. So the, the A and the C would go together, then the C and the I, and then the rest of the word, then accident. The next word is adequate. 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 The third word is admissible. Admissible. Now be very careful with the pronunciation of this I. It's not admissible. No, admissible. Uh, uh. Admissible. Admissible. Then we have adopt. 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 Now also be careful the pronunciation of the A in almost all of these words, okay? Uh, we have the bad habit of thinking that every time we see this vowel, it has to have the sound A. No. Sometimes it has the sound A, uh, which is what we're seeing, for instance, in the word adopt. Adopt. Not A adopt, it's adopt. A uh, adopt. And the next word is advantage. 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 
Now, this A is also very important. The natural tendency, and you might hear it around with non-native speakers, they would say like advantage. Or an, another example is the word orange. A lot of times, non-native speakers say orange. It's not orange and it's not advantage. It's advant uh, advantage and orange. Okay? Advantage. 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 Then we have the word adventure. 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 And we have the word adverb. Adverb. And the last word, advisor. Advisor. Now, notice this word can be a little tricky because it has two sounds that are not uh, pronounced the same way usually in Spanish. The letter V and the letter S in this case that takes on a sound more like a Z. So, adv v advisor, not advisor, no. Not advisor, adv advise, and then not sir. Usually, in some um, English-speaking countries, they will say advisor. So you can actually say advisor or advisor, and it's absolutely correct, absolutely correct. I kind of like the Z sound, so I'm usually going to say advisor. But advisor is correct. The, in, the important thing there to remember is the correct pronunciation of the letter V. Because in Spanish, we tend to say B or V or B. But in English, you know, and we just differentiate with, with B alta and B de vaca, and, and, but we still say vaca. But in English, it's extremely important that you make the distinction. So this word is adv, advisor, advisor. And you know, practice that sound and this sound, advantage, at home over and over again until you get it and you will be able to improve your pronunciation. So the work that you need to turn in is to tell me the amount of syllables in each of these words. And in order to do that, you need to know how they're pronounced. One last time quickly, abolish, absence, accident, adequate, admissible, adopt, advantage, adventure, adverb, advisor. See you next time.